Welcome back YouTube, we have Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and in today's video I'm gonna do a comparison that no one else did before. I have here the iPhone 11 Pro Max and the Pixel 3 XL but wait, this is not the normal camera comparison you would expect. In this video I'm gonna compare the astrophotography feature leaked from the Pixel 4 and the latest night mode of the iPhone 11. So everyone is really happy with the night mode of the iPhone 11 but Google took the night photography to the next level and Google can allow you to capture the stars with the latest astrophotography feature. So I wanted to know if Apple's night mode is powerful enough to capture the stars as well or Google will remain the king of the night photography in 2019 after the launch of the Pixel 4. Also keep in mind that the Pixel 3 XL I'm using here is one year older than the iPhone 11 and the astrophotography feature is not finalized but the images coming out of it are good enough for this comparison in my opinion and it might get even better with the final release. So let's check out how each camera will perform in capturing the stars but before getting started let's make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. So let's jump in. So to trigger the astrophotography on the Pixel 3 XL I had to use a tripod. So I fixed both phones on the same tripod while taking the photos for the sake of fairness. Let's start with the first astrophotography image on the iPhone. It automatically turns the night mode on if there isn't enough light and it also determines the maximum amount of seconds you can choose to take the image. So in this case, the maximum number of seconds available was 30 seconds. While on the Pixel you can use the night sight at any time and if the phone is attached to a tripod, it automatically triggers the astrophotography feature which takes almost 1 minute and 6 seconds to finish, which is more than double the the iPhone time. So I repeated the same thing three times to show you different samples and here is the first image. In the first image both did a very good job in capturing the stars but when you zoom in you will see the image coming out of the pixel is less noisy and the stars are more detailed. While the iPhone had an issue with the focus because on the iPhone you don't have the infinity focus option available in the Google camera app version 7. Also the Pixel allowed more time to capture the image while the iPhone is limited to 30 seconds. But I had to say that I didn't expect this result from the iPhone and Apple is now a strong competitor to Google in photography. But again the astrophotography feature on the Pixel 3 XL is not yet finalized so things might go totally different in the future. In the second image the Pixel did a lot better than the iPhone as it nailed the focus from the first time. While the iPhone was struggling and I tried to take the same image many times and it failed to focus which ruined the whole image. In the third image again the pixel crushed the iPhone but the iPhone focus this time was better than the previous image but still not good enough to compete with the pixel. So if Apple added the infinity focus option that will improve these kind of images but as you know Apple is very slow in adding new features but I hope to see it soon. Next I'm gonna try normal landscape images using the same settings but this time the iPhone only allowed a maximum of 8 seconds while the pixel is sticking to the 1 minute and 6 seconds. So it's a kind of unfair but this is the only option you have on the iPhone so let's check the results. Both images look absolutely stunning but I prefer the colors coming out of the iPhone as it's more true to life. However the pixel images is a lot more detailed due to the fact that it allows more time to capture the image which is not possible in the iPhone. So if we took the colors of the iPhone and the details of the pixel and put it in one image we will get the best night shot a mobile phone can take. In this image the colors reproduction was very close while the iPhone image is slightly warmer but again the details of the pixel are more. This is the final image and here it was really obvious that the iPhone colors are a lot better. As the pixel had a blue tint on the image that didn't give the natural look of the iPhone so Google needs to work on the colors reproduction to be as good as the iPhone and if that's the case Google will easily take the lead in the night photography. So I'm done with my comparison and I hope you like it. Please let me know in the comments what's your opinion and which company you think will be the camera leader in 2019. So thank you for watching and please don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos.